Christmas week in deer-led towns and cities across the country. In the Western Cape, it is now legal in 24 municipalities to produce solar PV energy. We are inching closer and closer to a load-shedding free South Africa. And the city of Tswane has launched a recruitment drive for 9,000 job seekers. And dear Run Umgeni is working hard to support families affected by the recent floods. Where we govern, the DA truly gets things done. On to this week's Dead Work feature, we speak to the Executive Mayor of Mossel Bay, Dirk Kotze, about what it means to run South Africa's top performing municipality. Mayor, good morning and thank you very much uh, for joining us today on the Inside Track. Morning, Sophie, and morning to all the listeners this morning. Look, I'm sure it doesn't come uh, easy to be the best well-run municipality in the country. Tell us a little bit more about that. Massive accolade, uh, particularly in a country where local government is often so broken. Uh, but you've managed to, you and your team have managed to do something magical. What has that been like? Yeah, I must say, firstly, obviously, we, we like to boast about it. It's something to be proud about. But what we did in Mossop Bay um, is we built um, on the past experiences and good governance of previously led terms, DA-led terms. So at this stage, some of our successes is that Mossop Bay municipality is the financially most sustainable municipality in South Africa, according to Good Governance Africa and Ratings Africa, and also uh, the top-run municipality for uh, consecutive terms. But then also, I would also like to measure um, what we do uh, good in Mossop Bay. If you look at the, the Lightstone property um, report um, that came out last November, that Mossop Bay um, is the top semigration destination. First of all, the Western Cape is, is the top semigration destination, but in the Western Cape, Mossop Bay municipality. And then in the sixth place is Groot Brakrefeer, which is actually also part of Mossop Bay municipality. So I would like to, to use that. Um, as a measuring tool of what we do correct in Mossop Bay. And if I want to delve down um, into what we do, what's the, the, the secret of the success, I would break it down into three different things. And that is basically political stability and good leadership. The, the other one is good governance. And then the third one is strategy. And if I'm allowed to maybe just elaborate a bit on that, uh, firstly, political stability in Mossop Bay, we've had political stability almost for four terms. And what that means is that you get quality um, staff, quality administrative people who come to your organization, who are willing to stay there. Obviously, yeah. it's, also, it's also a mechanism that draw even uh, better um, staff. Um, it allows people to work in a comfortable in environment where they are also allowed to be innovative. And uh, if you take, for instance, management and managers in South Africa, they are under tremendous pressure all the time. And what we see is that it's basically crisis management on a daily basis. Um, and, and what a stable environment allows your municipal manager and, and managers to do is to take effective decisions because they know they've got the backing um, of the mayor. And obviously, the mayor know that he's got the backing of his mayoral committee and his caucus. Obviously, I'm now referring to, to not illegal actions, but mm. to, to uh, actions or decisions in times of crisis. Um, then the, the second one um, is governance. And if I talk about governance a bit, um, I will refer to what happens in Mossop Bay. Obviously, first of all, uh, due to the, the what you've got in the institution, if you've got this calm environment where people want to go, um, then you're at a place where you can start building capacity because you know you've got people who will stay at your uh, organization. So it makes sense to spend money or throw money um, after this. Yeah. Um, then also... If, Effective um, performance management in Mossop Bay. We're one of the few municipalities in South Africa where we've got performance management um, right throughout the organization. And with that, also consequence management. Yeah. Uh, government, government officials get paid uh, good money. Mm -hmm. And for that, they need to perform. Um, then also in terms of supply chain, uh, our councillors in Mossop Bay, we do not interfere with supply chain. What we do have, we do our, we play our oversight role, and once a month we receive a deviation report. Mm. And then I'm going to talk about, since we're the, the financially most sustainable municipality in South, in South Africa, and I'm also a business person, uh, my previous background, and so I'm going to dwell a bit on, on our long-term financial plan, because 
finances in a in this organization in local government is of utmost importance the, yeah. so the first thing is uh, your capital replacement reserve um, where you've got money um, that is that you that's committed future committed funds in Mosul Bay that we keep and that we save uh, debt collection, our debt collection rate at this stage is 95% normally. Um, it, when it's not um, COVID, it's 98%. Yeah. Then we've got a very strict indigent uh, management system. Um, and then obviously also we, if, for any money that we loan in Master Bay, we only use it for income generating projects. And then also something very important is our service delivery standards. Yeah. Um, so we've got for, for each and every service delivery issue, we've got a certain specific time in which the administration need to finish that. Mm -hmm. And then just lastly, strategically, excellent communications, open door policy with your community. Uh, we believe in partnerships. Everything we do in Mosaba, we do it in partnerships very effectively. So you've got a community uh, the, the whole of society community who buys into what the Mossel Bay municipality is doing. And then lastly, uh, we're trying everything that we do is um, with marketability of Mossel Bay, marketability in mind. So everything yeah. we do is to uh, market Mossel Bay as a place where people <coughs> want to come and want to come. Yeah. And I mean, John, I want to bring you yeah. in here because I think the mayor mentions a very important point, particularly when he talks about making sure people are appointed on merit, making sure that uh, people, there's performance management. And this is exactly what we're talking about, right? Insulating the public service for political interference. Exactly. And, and you can see that in successful municipalities. It's a simple thing. People think it's, it's difficult. It's, it's really not that difficult. First of all, don't steal the money. Second of all, make sure that you hire the right people who are qualified to do those jobs. Thirdly, stay out of their way. Mm. Let them get on with running and doing what. Don't interfere. And fourthly, make sure that you are communicating to your public. And I think that Mossel Bay gets that right in such a big way. Mm. And as the leader of the party, it's always so great over the December period to get messages from people saying, wow, I'm down here from Gauteng, I'm in Mossel Bay. I can't believe it's like a different country down here. Mm. The beaches are clean. The community is beautiful. And so it's also a difficult balancing act for, for Dirk and his team because not only do they have to have a group of locals that they've got to deliver services to, they're becoming one of the most popular holiday destinations in the country precisely because of that. Mm. So, Dirk, I, mean, I want to ask you, how's the holiday season been and what do you do to improve your tourism offer and attract people to Mossel Bay? John, thanks. Okay, we had a, a brilliant season. I can just mention that our population actually doubles over a December holiday. And this year, again, uh, when I left Mossel Bay about two, three days ago, the Arctic Cafe, I had a meeting with the business chamber that morning. The Arctic Cafe was still full at that yeah. stage. Obviously, it's, it's, a, it's a different type of client who's not got children at school and so on. But yeah, Mossel Bay, like I've said, everything we do is to market our destination as a place where you want to come not only and, uh, and to do holiday or invest, uh, or, or also to come there and invest. So we've got the Great Escape to Mossel Bay campaign that we are, are driving hard at this stage. Um, I've received messages out of um, the whole of South Africa, we've got branded Mossel Bay, Great Escape to Mossel Bay branded trucks. Um, some have been seen in, even um, in Namibia uh, and in Tanzania over the past week. And uh, yeah, other part of that was, of the strategy was where we had the, the same campaign. There was a touch rugby every year. There's a touch rugby campaign and we had the Mossel Bay branding um, campaign all over all the, the beaches in the Western Cape. Um, like I always say, it's not only to, to brag about Mossel Bay and to sell us as a, as a place of, of, of destination and as a place to come and have a very nice holiday, but we also try to sell and attract people to the whole Western Cape. And uh, yeah, and, and, and Dirk, that, that sounds amazing, particularly considering the fact that we have been uh, uh, locked away for so long under mm. COVID regulations. And we're glad that the garden route is really starting to become an economic hub again. Mm. And, uh, and thank you, Dirk, for all the work that you and your team are doing. Strength to your arm. Continue communicating to our residents and continue serving them well and, uh, and with integrity. All the very best with the, with the work ahead. Yeah. Baie dankie, Thank you Dirk Koets is vreselik trots as die leiderskap van die partij vir die wonelike werk wat jylle doen daar in, in Mossel Baie. So baie, baie dankie en stuur groot aan al die DR raadslede in jou span daar. Ons is, ons is baie, baie trots op jylle.